What if I told you that just viewing a photo, yes, a simple meme or a selfie, could give a hacker full control of your Android phone? It sounds unbelievable, but this is the new reality of cyber threats. No downloads, no links, no warnings. You don't even have to click anything suspicious or visit a shady website. You open the image, you laugh, you scroll away thinking nothing of it, just another moment online. But in the background, your phone has already been hacked. The attack is silent, invisible, and you won't notice a thing. Your camera, your mic, your personal files, they're now in someone else's hands, and your privacy is at risk. And the craziest part, you did absolutely nothing wrong. You were just using your phone like you always do. Hackers are evolving. And now they're hiding malicious code inside innocent-looking images, making attacks harder to spot than ever. This isn't science fiction. This is real. And it's happening right now, targeting millions of unsuspecting users worldwide. Stay with me as we uncover how these weaponized photos work, how they silently infect your phone, and most importantly, how to protect yourself before it's too late. Your digital safety depends on it. At first glance, an image looks harmless. It's just pixels, right? Wrong. Hackers can now embed malicious code inside a regular image, not a fake app, not a suspicious link, just a simple-looking image like a screenshot or meme. This technique is called steganography, hiding dangerous code inside something innocent. And Android phones? They are trained to automatically process images to generate thumbnails, previews, and effects. That's where the vulnerability lives. You don't have to click run or install anything. Just receiving or viewing the image can trigger the exploit if your phone or app is vulnerable. This isn't just theory or speculation, let's talk about real cases that have actually happened, affecting millions of users worldwide. WhatsApp vulnerability. Hackers once exploited a flaw by sending a specially crafted GIF image to hack Android phones, putting user data at risk. When the victim opened the chat, WhatsApp's auto preview feature displayed the GIF, and that's when the attack was triggered, without any warning. The user had no idea anything was happening in the background. Their device was compromised in seconds. Samsung devices, a past Android vulnerability allowed attackers to send MMS messages containing malicious PNG files, targeting unsuspecting users. The image would be auto-processed by Android's system, even before the user opened or even saw the message. This silent process gave hackers a direct path into system memory, bypassing user awareness and security. Telegram and Discord have also faced serious concerns, where attackers share weaponized images to exploit zero-day vulnerabilities in the image rendering engines of these popular apps. In each of these cases, the image itself was the weapon, not an app, not a website, but a simple picture file with hidden dangers. Let's break it down step by step. Image hacking is a surprisingly sophisticated process that can target anyone, often without them realizing it. First, the hacker creates a payload. This is a piece of malicious code designed to exploit vulnerabilities in the victim's device. They generate a script or remote access code, often using tools like Metasploit or other exploit builders which are widely available on the dark web and hacking forums. Second, the payload is hidden inside the image. This is done using a technique called steganography, which conceals code within seemingly harmless pictures. Using steganography tools, they embed the payload into an image, like a photo of a cat, a meme, or even a simple screenshot. The image looks normal to the naked eye. Third, the image is sent to the victim. This can happen in many ways, making it hard to spot. It can be shared via WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord, email, airdrop or Bluetooth, and even through social media comments, direct messages or public posts. Attackers use any channel where images can be shared. Fourth, the victim's phone processes the image, often without the user even opening it. Many Android apps automatically generate a thumbnail preview for faster loading, which means the image is processed as soon as it arrives. If the app or OS has a vulnerability, this previewing step can trigger the attack, letting the payload execute silently in the background. Fifth, the hacker gains access to the device, often without the victim noticing anything unusual. Depending on the type of payload, the hacker may access photos and files, record mic or camera activity, steal contacts and messages, track GPS location, or use the phone in botnets or crypto mining operations, draining resources and battery life, all from just one image, proving how a single photo can become a powerful weapon in the wrong hands. 
Alright, let's dive into why this trick is so dangerous. There are four key reasons to be aware of. First off, no user interaction is required. That's right, the user doesn't need to install or run anything at all. Then there's the fact that it's hard to detect. Antivirus tools often don't scan image previews or detect embedded payloads, especially if it's disguised with steganography. Next, trusted platforms are used. Hackers send these images via trusted apps like WhatsApp or Telegram, so victims don't suspect anything. Lastly, the exploit is silent. The attack might run in the background without any crash, pop-up, or lag. The victim goes on using the phone, completely unaware it's already compromised. Now let's talk about some tools and methods hackers use to make this possible. They use tools like Steghide, OpenStego, or Zisteg to hide code inside images. Then there are payload generators, specifically the GUI versions. These let attackers create Android backdoors with point-and-click interfaces. Hackers also clone memes or photos. They use viral memes to trick users. A popular meme can be cloned, weaponized, and reshared. And, of course, social engineering plays a big role. They might say things like, bro, check this new screenshot leak or exclusive meme not on the internet, maybe even photo proof he cheated, anything to make you click. So hackers usually aim at Android phones running outdated versions, users with disabled Google Play Protect phones without security patches and devices where auto-download is enabled for media. Messaging apps with known vulnerabilities are also a big target. Honestly, even a powerful phone like a Galaxy or Pixel is vulnerable if it hasn't been updated. Here's how to avoid becoming a victim. First, update your Android phone regularly. Most hacks target unpatched systems. Next, disable auto-download of images. Go to WhatsApp, Telegram and so on, and turn off auto-download for unknown contacts. Never open suspicious images even if it's from a friend, always verify if it feels unusual or unexpected. Also, don't use custom Android ROMs without security updates, since some third-party ROMs don't patch critical exploits. Use messaging apps with sandboxing features. Apps like Signal isolate media previewing to prevent automatic execution. And, enable Google Play, protect, and use a reputable mobile security app. These can sometimes detect suspicious behavior triggered after an image is viewed. If an attacker gains access to your Android phone, they can see your private messages, listen through your microphone in real time, access your camera feed, extract your location Wi-Fi passwords, and more. And yeah, it all started with you opening a picture. Cyber attacks today don't look like code. They look like memes, GIFs, cat photos, and leaked screenshots. That's the new battlefield. You've made it this far. Now you know the truth not all images are safe. Some are digital landmines waiting to explode. So next time someone sends you a funny photo, pause. Think. Would you let a stranger in your house just because they wore a clown mask? Hit that like button if you learned something today. Subscribe if you want to stay one step ahead of hackers. And comment below with no more blind clicks if you're now image aware. Catch you in the next one.